Hi guys, today I'm back to film another get ready with me. Um, I'm just running some errands today, but I kind of need to hurry, so this is probably going to be kind of a quick get ready with me, but um, I do have obviously my face makeup started. So I have my Nip and Fab Micro or Venom, Viper Venom, Micro Blur Fix. Um, still just kind of panning this. Obviously, I've kind of made some progress with it, but like not a lot. Um, this is an okay primer, it's just not my favorite. It doesn't work well with every foundation that I have, so that's kind of another reason why I'm panning it, so that way I can just use the other primers that do work for me. But I have that on as my primer. For foundation, I have my normal combination of the Rimmel Stay Matte with the Too Faced Born This Way. Um, one of you guys had mentioned that you think the Rimmel Stay Matte is kind of what's making the combination not last throughout the day and I think you're right because I've kind of noticed that while this foundation does wear really well throughout the day on me towards the end of the day if I kind of touch my face it does transfer and it does kind of come off so I think it is the Rimmel Stay Matte that's like not really working but I kind of need it to wear with the Too Faced Born this way because it's so pink that they just like balance each other out and it works so much better um because the Too Faced Born this way is so yellow and then for my brows, I have my dip brow and then my Anastasia clear brow gel. I just needed to cement my brow hairs down today because my brows really need done. And I've been putting it off and putting it off and I have a couple really long brow hairs that need trimmed and that kind of thing. So that just really cemented them in place. Plus, I feel like too, any time that I don't wax my brows, my dip brow is like my favorite product for when my brows don't look that good. The dip brow, I think, is just dramatic enough that you don't really see the brow hairs that need waxed and stuff. Um, I'm pretty lucky, though, because my brow hairs are so blonde that I feel like even if I don't wax, most people can't tell. Um, I can tell, but I feel like most people can't tell. So anyways, I have that on. I have my Too Faced Shadow Insurance. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, I never did an Ulta haul, but I did pick up some new products. I picked up these. These are the NYX... Um, ultimate shadow palettes. I picked up three because they were buy two get one free on NYX products which they don't do that sale too often. Um, I don't know I guess the NYX 40% off sale isn't happening this year because I've been waiting for it to happen and it just has never happened. So I'm guessing it's just not happening or it's happening later in the year um, but I've been waiting for it and it's just not happening. So I just kind of gave in and got these because I've been wanting them. So I ended up picking up this is the cool neutrals one. This is beautiful. Um, I also picked up this one, which is the Brights. I've been wanting a bright eyeshadow palette, but I didn't want to spend a lot of money on it. So I picked up this. Um, it seems like it's going to be okay. Some of the shadows seem a little eh, but other ones seem like they're really good. And then lastly, I picked up the Warm Neutrals palette, which is probably what we're going to be using today, I'm kind of thinking. Yeah, let's go ahead and use this today, because there's a ColourPop shadow I want to use, and I feel like some of these would go really well with it. So I'm going to start with this color here, and I'm going to take a fluffy crease brush and put that into my crease. Here we go. I'm a little nervous because I've only used these shadows a handful of times, and I feel like it might grab a little bit and be a little splotchy, so we'll see. Oh, okay. Not too bad. Pleasantly surprised. I thought it was going to grab a lot and be really splotchy and pigmented. It's a little bit splotchy, but I think that's kind of more just... Just me, not the shadow, because I kind of applied a lot right here. This eye. All right, so that blended out pretty nicely. I'm pleasantly surprised. Um, I'm going to take... This is my ColourPop shadow. This is from the K-Pop collection. This is in Sunset Boulevard. I'm not going to lie, I bought this like right after we came back from LA and that's mostly why I bought it because I was like, oh, I remember being on Sunset Boulevard. But it is a really pretty color. It's kind of a bronzy color which always looks really nice with like my blue eyes so I think I'll like this color. But I'm going to have to find, yep, here's my little sponge tip applicator. This is just from a Wet n Wild palette but um... I know my Makeup Revolution palette has a nice sponge tip applicator in it, so I really should get that out and start using that one instead because this is just so little it's kind of hard to get a grip on. But these sponge tip applicators apply ColourPop shadows I feel like the best. Besides your finger, that's the other tool that works really well, but I don't 
don't know, for some reason I really like the sponge tip applicators a little bit better. I could buy some sponge tip applicators too, I suppose. I do have to go to Ulta today, but I don't know. So many palettes, little palettes come with them, I feel like I really don't need to. Oh, I like this color way more than I even realized. It's super, super pretty. This is probably going to be like one of my favorite summer eyeshadows. It's gorgeous. Um, so now I'm going to do the other eye here. I have a ton of videos coming up. I know you guys have requested a lot of stuff and I promise I'm getting to it. I have not been very good about filming lately just because it feels like every day I go to film, someone's home. Um, whether it's my son, whether it's my boyfriend, like somebody's home and I can't film. And I'm like, why can't we go back to nobody being home and me being able to film all the time? Um, but it just hasn't been that way, so it kind of sucks, but, yeah. Like I said, the videos are coming. I'm just a little slow about getting them filmed and stuff. And then there's days like today where I could film probably two or three videos, um, but I don't have time because I have everything else that I have to do. So, things are coming. My skincare routine, um... I'm going to try to do a makeup inventory, probably not super soon, probably end of May, beginning of June. That'll take a little while. Um, I kind of want to do another declutter. We'll see about that. I don't know. I'm trying to remember everything. I have a ton of Get Ready With Me tutorials coming up. Um, I'm trying. To, I'm kind of drawing a blank. I know there's a couple tag videos and stuff I had requested to do, so I'll do those too. I just, I have a lot of stuff coming up, but I can't remember them all right now. So now I'm going to take my pencil brush and I'm going to apply kind of a mix of colors. I'm going to take my Anastasia Catwalk palette and I would show you what color out of here, but it's the coppery RTW color. Um, I'm going to take that and I'm going to take a little mix of this kind of reddish brown color here and I'm going to apply that in my outer V with a pencil brush and then I'll blend it out with my E25. I wish I could show you guys my Catwalk palette, but I've had so much progress with it that I don't want to show it yet. Um, my update's going to be coming up in about a week or two, I guess. I'd say probably about two weeks. So, sorry if you can hear the trucks outside. I really don't know what's going on right now. Like I said, horrible luck with filming lately. Now that that is done, I'm going to take RTW and do that along my lower lash line with a little pencil brush. I think I'm just going to do RTW. I don't think I'm going to mix it with that um, other color from the NYX palette. Yeah, I'm okay with just doing RTW. This is pretty enough on its own. So, something I could talk about, I guess, is I finally finished watching Dexter. However, my boyfriend has not finished it. So, I haven't been able to talk to him about it, which is frustrating because... Okay. So, I'm going to take the NYX palette in this light color here with a little shader brush and I'm going to apply that in the inner corner. But, as I was saying before all that really loud noise, which is still kind of going on, um, he hasn't finished watching Dexter. I have, so I have no one to talk to about it, but I absolutely hated the ending too. For some reason, I was totally okay with Dexter and Deborah just like going off in the boat and disappearing and never being heard from again. For some reason, I was okay with that ending. But when I saw that Dexter was alive and just living some crappy life, I was like, are you kidding me? I was like, you need to go find your son, you need to go find Hannah, and you need to be a part of their lives. If you're going to live, you need to be with them. I understand what he was like thinking like, oh, I'm ruining everyone's life so I should just not bother anyone anymore, which is kind of why I thought like he was just taking the boat and just, just disappearing. Um, but I think it's stupid that he kind of lived on because I bet you anything like now he still kills people and stuff. Um, because if he doesn't have Hannah and Harrison, then I feel like that's kind of all he has left. I understand losing Deborah like probably made him lose his mind a little bit because I think that would make most people really upset and kind of go off the deep end for a little bit but yeah I was kind of disappointed with the ending um I was hoping that you know he would either like I said just kind of disappear or he would either go find Hannah and Harrison and just kind of accept that you know it's just part of life like Han or uh 
Deborah's job is dangerous and if it didn't happen now it might have happened later and I know he's kind of blaming himself for it but I don't know it just the ending didn't sit well with me I was not happy about it so now I'm going to take my Ulta automatic liner in deep brown and line oh probably my upper lash line and my lower water line I think it's really orange down here so I kind of want some brown on the lower water line So I applied my liner and I set it with the Couture Color out of the Catwalk Palette. Um, for some reason, I just can't talk and do my eyeliner. Sometimes I can, sometimes I can't. Um, but now I'm going to take a my little angled brush and I'm going to take my Too Faced Cocoa Contour Palette and I'm going to take the Light Cocoa and use that as my brow bone highlight. But yeah, my boyfriend hasn't quite finished it yet, so he's on like episode 10, I think. 9 or 10 so he's close but he's not quite finished with it so I don't know it just I feel like a lot happened in a very little bit of time like I didn't expect Deb to quit her job and go back to the force I didn't really expect Dexter to just like pick up and leave for Argentina like a lot of that stuff just kind of happened really quickly um, or was starting to happen really quickly anyways um, but I did call that that guy um, Oliver Saxton was going to be the brain surgeon because when they kind of kept making a point to show him and Cassie together I kind of had thought that he must be like a past um, patient of Dr. Vogel's I didn't expect him to be her son until he did the like DNA thing at the lab at work and it said it was a familial match with her then I was like okay now he's like her son um, but other than that, like, I had a feeling it was Oliver Saxton because I'm like, I just don't understand why they keep making a point to show those two together because Dexter's like interested in Cassie, but not that interested. Like he's just got other stuff on his mind right now. So I was always like, why do they keep just making a huge point to show all this? Um, at first I really did think Zach killed Cassie though. And then when I kind of heard Dexter saying, no, I think he was being framed for it and stuff. And they kind of had gotten more proof. I was like, all right, well, the brain surgeon's, like, trying to make it seem like Zach did it, so. Moving on to concealer, I'm doing my typical mix of things. This is the NYX Gotcha Covered Concealer. I am really surprised how much of this I have used. Um, I love the color of this, but it is very thick. So I don't know if I love it concealer-wise, like, on its own. Um, I do mix it with the, this is the Ulta Full Coverage Concealer. I love this, but I don't love the color. It's too dark. So I mix the two of them together because the NYX one is really light. This one's really dark, but this is more kind of the formula that I would like. This is like the um, Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. It's a doe foot applicator, and it's very creamy and soft and wonderful. It's just not light enough. So the NYX one is kind of pretty much everything that I don't love in a concealer. It's thick. It's kind of cakey looking, um, but the color is great. So mixed together they're a little bit better um, but I have to let the NYX one like sit on my finger like this and warm up because if I try to apply it right away to my under eyes it's very very thick using kind of my finger and letting it sit there the body temperature or heat kind of warms it up and it becomes a little bit a little creamier and a little less thick so now that it's kind of been sitting for a little while I'll usually just do three little dots under each eye. I'll take the Ulta one and I will just do three little like swipes in between the dots. So I don't know if you're gonna be able to see on camera but you can tell the Ulta one is darker. The Ulta one is probably like the color of my foundation maybe a tiny bit darker. So I think I'm going to get the NYX Lavender Concealer to mix with this because I really like this. Um, I think that this could be a dupe for the Urban Decay Naked Skin and it's definitely cheaper. Um, and it actually does claim to be waterproof on it too. I haven't tested that out. Knocking things over. Haven't tested that out, but um, I don't know. If that's true, that is actually pretty nice because it's very lightweight feeling. And it has pretty good coverage too, so.
So now that that's done, I'm going to take my NYX Radiant Finishing Powder and my Real Technique Setting Brush and I'm going to set my under eyes. Um, I pretty much just swirl it all around in here and then I kind of go in the yellow last and um, try to make it look not so stark white because otherwise it tends to look really white on my under eyes. Ugh, my NYX concealer feels really thick today. Normally it doesn't quite feel so thick. I wonder if maybe I didn't apply enough of the Ulta one. Trying to decide what I want to do for blush. I don't know. So on to mascara. I'm going to do the CoverGirl Super Sizer Mascara. I still don't know how I feel about this. Um, it seems pretty nice, but I don't feel like it makes my lashes super long. And I feel like it adds an okay amount of volume. But one thing that I do really like is that the other day, well, kind of, I guess this was a like, couple weeks ago now, because the formula was still pretty wet and pretty new. Um, it applied really clumpy, and I was like, dang it, like I should have just waited and not used this yet, because it's still not quite dried out enough. Um, and it looked super clumpy. I'm like, oh well, just kind of gave up on it. And it's the, it was on the eye that I'm working on now. And I went on to the next eye over here and, you know, kind of went to do the bottom lashes over here. And I looked at this eye and I realized that it looked less clumpy. It was like once the formula dried, it kind of, I don't know, I don't want to say like shriveled up, but it like, I don't know, it just did not look as clumpy then. It's like once the formula dried, it looked better. So... It does kind of have that going for it. It's, it's really not clumpy formula, which I like. I guess my lashes do look pretty thick. They just don't look super long, which is normally something I want to. I normally want volume and length because mine, I feel like, are just very short. So I'm going to take kind of a mix of things for my cheeks. Um, this is my Benefit, what is this called? The Real Cheeky Party. This is from Christmas time. Um, and I'm going to take the Hoola bronzer and I'm going to go ahead and bronzer on my face and then I'll come back and do blush really quick. I went a little overboard on the bronzer. I always get a little excited when I start using it and kind of go a little a little overboard, but I guess it's not too bad. Um, plus it's Hoola. I feel like it blends out pretty nicely. So now I'm going to take a mix of, this is my NYX Baked Blush and this is in Wanderlust. It's kind of an orangey color. Um, and then I'm going to actually mix it with, I think I'm going to mix it with Coralista. Um, I was going to mix it with Sugar Bomb, but I feel like Sugar Bomb is pretty orange too, so I'm probably going to go with Coralista just because it's a little bit more peachy. Um, Wanderlust, I like it, but it is very orangey. Um, like I've said in past Project Pan videos, it's kind of hit or miss. Some days it looks really nice, and other days I'm just like, this is so orange, why did I choose to pan this? Why did I even buy this? <laughs> but, um, eh, it's still looking a little orange. But, yeah, we're going to work with it today. I don't feel like messing with it too much more. I know my blush probably looks a little crazy on camera, but I'm going to blend it out and deal with that in a minute. I'm just going to apply some highlighter. Ugh, I don't know what to do today. Yesterday I did my Revolu uh, Makeup Revolution Ultra Strobe Balm, and this is really pretty with the Wanderlust blush because it kind of has a... I don't know how to describe it. I kind of always want to say like a peachy pink with like a slight purple duochrome in it. It's really pretty. Yeah, it's almost got like a peachy pink duochrome to it and it's really pretty. So it does look really nice with Wanderlust. Um, I don't know though. I don't feel like really wearing that today. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and stick with my Benefit What's Up. I've been kind of eating my words a lot about Benefit products lately because I know I, when I started my Project Pan, I was like, I don't like the Benefit What's Up. It's too dark for my skin tone. I've been really liking it lately now. And same thing with Hoola. Like I said, I really, the first time I bought Hoola, I absolutely hated it. I returned it right away. I got the Too Faced bronzer instead, and I loved that. And now I've even been liking the Benefit What's Up and Hoola. So I feel like I've really been eating my words about their products lately. Because before I was kind of like, oh, Benefit, like just kind of hit or miss like they have some really pretty blushes but some are not my favorite this that and you know I'm glad I did benefit what's up I think it looks way better prettier okay so I think I'm pretty much done I'm just going to decide what kind of lip color I want to do today so these are the two lip colors I'm trying to decide between 
this kind of it's like a bright pink coral color um this is the tarte dainty lip surgeons it's a really pretty color it's very moisturizing um which has been great because i've been wearing a ton of my ColourPop ultra matte lips um but it's just it's very very bright and i wore it yesterday so i'm kind of trying to decide if i really want to wear it again today otherwise i don't think i've even worn this for a full day yet this is the ColourPop. Um, it's the Ultra Satin Lip, and this is in Echo Park. It's darker, but I don't know. I kind of want to wear it today. There's nothing really else in my lip area that I want to wear right now. I think I'm going to wear this. I've been wearing a lot of my Project Pan lipsticks lately and other things that I've been panning that aren't in Project Pan. I've been wearing all that stuff so much lately, I haven't got to really wear my other lip colors that I just love. So we're going to try this out today. Oh, so creamy. Kind of wasn't expecting that. I don't know why. I'm really glad I went with this one. I really, really like this one. However, I feel like these aren't as easy to apply, at least for me, as comparison to the... Um, ultra mattes I feel like because these are more liquidy I actually find them easier to apply because this is thicker and more moussey like I think it's a little it's almost a little messier um, and a little harder to get a little more precise so I might have to kind of use a lip liner in the future with these but overall really like it my lips don't feel super dried out at all but they do feel pretty matte for the most part they kind of feel like a typical matte lipstick out of a tube rather than a liquid lipstick they kind of have that little bit of creaminess to them um, it reminds me a lot of the Maybelline matte lipsticks they just have that little bit of creaminess to them it's matte but it's not overly drying but I mean I guess we'll kind of see as it goes on because I mean maybe it'll dry down more and it'll be more matte and more uncomfortable but really liking it so far Alright, so that is it for this get ready with me. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm sorry if it wasn't super chit chatty. It was just that loud construction or whatever was going on outside. I didn't really want to try to talk and have to leave it kind of in the video and have all that background noise. So I couldn't chit chat a whole lot and it kind of takes me a little while to get a little more chit chatty. Um, but like I said, I have tons of upcoming videos. I know today I'm going to Ulta to get some skincare stuff for my skincare videos. Um, just some things that I've used, but I'm kind of out of at the moment. Um, trying to think of what else. Like I said, the blush tag, Perfect Palette 2 tag. Um, gonna try to do some reviews and stuff like that too, I think. And if you guys would like, I just received my first Sephora play box. I was kind of thinking about doing a first impressions on that. Um, just because the experience has been an interesting one. So I'm kind of thinking about doing a first impressions on that and, you know, kind of what I got in the box and everything. So we'll see. Um, but I will talk to you guys next time. Bye!